Yes, what's good everybody? Quick ship vid. I'm still riding high from the uh, boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Performance. So, feeling good. Um, straight into it. That Clarson, so you know our keeper. Uh, well, young keeper, under 21. Well, plays for under 21s a lot. We were our second keeper all season last year. Well, they're all about learning him out in January, potentially, because obviously we signed that massive Robles guy, didn't we? That huge guy, that big, big bastard. Um, and he was on bench at the weekend, so... And class, and not... He hasn't been dropped, but I think there's a... Perception that he might be moved... Not... Might be loaned out just for his own progression, which I don't think is a bad shout, to be fair. He's still only 21, and that Robles, Robles, I don't know how to say his name. Huge guy, big bastard, huge big bastard. He's 32, and well experienced and stuff isn't he so and Mel Meslier Silent S is not really doesn't seem to be particularly injury prone touch wood after his unbelievable performance against Liverpool which I did forget to mention so apologies Lord Mez Silent S not that you listen to this but it was well worthy of a comment but you do get far more than enough comments from me Lord Mez Silent S so because you are the ice man you're a beast but yeah so I don't think it'd be a bad shout for that class and lad uh, get him loaned out in January. And they're on about listening to um, offers for Farshaw as well. So he, And he will leave in January, I believe. Contract's up at end of the year. They've said that they can extend it a further year because I think they put clauses in some people's contracts where, upon mutual consent, they can extend the contract. Or get first dibs on it before they can talk to other clubs, I would imagine. But I think it's a real shame... Not so much, I'm probably going to get shipped just for saying it's a shame because, you know, I've had a few comments saying that he's dead wood and stuff. I love Farshaw, he's been one of my favourite players for donks. Um, I just think he's amazing on ball, he never makes a mistake, never loses his ball. Uh, he got even better in Prem and I know he's been. He's just been so blighted with injuries, it's like... In fact, I tell you, ever since I've loved him, I've loved him since Wilder went off on one. And Farshaw, Bamford, I thought, yeah, fucking good lad. Where they've been, the results they've had, one defeat in 13. I've got Muppets from Leeds talking about pressures on us and Bamford and Forshaw and uh, a couple of others and it's over to you and this, that and the other. They got beat seven times since Christmas. We've been beaten, beaten once. We've set it up from Christmas to be in the right. But yeah, it's been injury blighted, blight, blighted with injury. I've never said blighted before in my life and I've said it more in the past 20 seconds and Moving on. So, yeah, I think it's a shame, but ultimately, I mind you, I don't know, he's let his contract run out, it didn't really matter to me, but I suppose if you get a bit of money for him, get a bit of money for him. I don't really know how much money they would get for him, because uh, I think once they get to a certain age, it's like who's going to come in, he's probably going to have to drop down throughout the leagues, isn't he? So, previous players talk a bit about Rafinha, so he's under a bit of pressure at... Um, Barcelona, he hasn't been playing particularly well. Got like one one goal or something in fifteen appearances or something. He's played. He's not. I don't know how much he's actually playing. Uh, every time I've watched him, he's either like come on off at bench or he's, he's been brought off or whatever. But it's a weird one, isn't it? I've said this before actually. Like when we were on about leaving, it is a different world when you go to these massive clubs, and that does have to be said because you know we looked to him for the spark last year because we didn't have a great deal of attacking prowess, did we? And so we did look towards him, but whereas top teams don't look, won't be looking towards him. You know, when they play him with Lewandowski and stuff, you know, they look elsewhere, don't they? So, and in reality, Rafinha probably had poor, poor games, but great moments in certain games for us. So, but because the the great moment pulls him out of it. So, but in, when you get when you get towards that level where Barcelona are wanting to win Champions Leagues and stuff, and you know, winning leagues. You know, they're looking for 8 out of 10 performances in every single game out there. And if you're not at that, you get put under pressure pretty quick. It's like a manager's role in when you go to big clubs like that. They're all over you. you know, PSG were all over Messi last year. Messi's been really good this year for PSG, but they've been booing Neymar last year. It's like, you know, 
Real Madrid, you don't get a moment, do you? It's like, you know, people said that Michael Owen was shit at Real Madrid. People said that McManaman was shit at Real Madrid. And if you actually look at the record, which I don't have in front of me, played really well. Michael Owen got... Summit, Summit Daft, he got 10 goals in his first 10 games or something for him. I've made that up, but he did really well. And then got dropped, and then never barely played again. And then left end at season. It's just, it's it's a it's a different world when you go to these huge clubs. Uh, yeah, and then the, finally, Rads has put a tweet out, and uh, he's been getting loads of backlash for it, which I think is absolutely mental. But the tweet reads, if I can find it, We were not rubbish last week and we were, we are not champions tonight. It's a long journey, working and improving together. Game by game, as always, have been in the game by game as always have been as always has been in these last six years since I joined the club. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that tweet. People make me laugh really, saying that you know, I've just read an article saying that he always makes it about himself and stuff. It's like it's a mad world where he pays an absurd amount of money into the club to keep us where we're at every single week and just all he's doing is shelling out money. And then he can't state his opinion on something. He can't, he can't tweet something. And you can't have it both ways. So Scum, which I don't care about, Scum, Scum get grief with their board for never hearing from them. And Gary Neville never shuts up about how, you know, you never hear from Glaziers and all that. Every time I say Glaziers, I always think of them glassier mints. But yeah, he gets grief, gets grief for it. And I just think, well, pick. He can he can say whatever the fuck he wants, and then I can either agree with it or disagree with it. It does my head in. For some reason, anybody with from football always thinks that the chairman is just like has to do certain things and has to put a certain amount of money in and has. It's like he doesn't have to do anything. Mike Ashley at Newcastle apparently left him in an extremely good place, and he got nothing but shit for Newcastle. He did exactly what he said he would do: come in, stabilise it. And when he gets the money he wants for it, he will leave them in a good place with loads of money. And he's done exactly that. It, the bloke's a beast. You know, if we, when we went down and it all went tits up, we could have done with the Mike Ashley. I mean, to be fair to Ken Bates, ever, Ken Bates gets a bit of shit, but I think, to be fair, most Leeds fans have got their heads screwed on with that, really. We were in a bad way, and he did so, he at least stabilise us. You, you do need people that will just maybe use it as an opportunity for them to make some money but so what you know so what if Rad's only spends what he can afford what do you want him to do I don't know but he's de what he's definitely allowed to do is spend all that sh fucking money on something and then say what he thinks if I can go on my YouTube channel and say whatever I think and I don't put a penny into the club apart from when I buy a ticket or a top I think he can say what he wants but yeah that's my rant over but yeah take it easy everybody if you want to spot my music and stuff all links below take boom <laughs> Surprises why I asked no